I've played Guild Wars 2 for over 20,000 hours, and I've learned a whole lot and collected just about everything in the game, so it's a perfect time to go round again. Join me in the adventures of my completely fresh account known only as the Microtransaction Enjoyer on the quest of obtaining and unlocking everything in the game, from legendary gear and mounts to living world story episodes, maps, and ultimate gem store quality of life, purely through efficient and somewhat sensible gameplay. No real money required. Ah, that reminds me, actually. When we go to Palawan here, actually, this is what we need to get done. Um, so, there is something very, very important that we can do, even if we actually don't complete the map, which we can try. So, what's really important about uh, Karmic Retribution? Karmic Retribution is a very interesting effect. Now, it is an investment. You have to pay a thousand uh, Volatile Magic and five gold up front, but it is actually extremely powerful. I, oh, I wish I could pick up this Season 4 Portal Tome. I think I can, actually, so I might do that while I'm at it. Although, actually, oh, I need 2,000 magic, don't I? Because I need to get the uh, the scroll as well. But that doesn't matter. That's not important. What is important is the fact that Karmic Retribution is a very unusual effect. It makes it so that every enemy you kill in a living world map um, will drop karma as well. But this has an unintended effect. Or, well, not exactly an unintended, unexpected effect, I, I should say, actually. It will also cause every enemy to also drop volatile magic, which actually greatly increases the amount of gold you get when you're farming these maps. So, Karmic Retribution, very, very good investment. You just need, like, the level one Karmic Retribution, and boom. And hey, you get some karma too, right? Um, so that's quite nice, you know, maybe you need some karma as well. You need some good karma when you're playing some Guild Wars 2? Yeah, definitely worth picking up. I'm gonna grab that now, actually. There we go. And as you can see, what will happen is that when we go and attack things, we're going to get a whole bunch of extra volatile magic. So on a lot of the maps where you're finding, when you're fighting loads of monsters, this ends up being extremely, extremely good value. Uh, in particular, I would say that Istan is great for this, and I would also say uh, that Sansot Isles is great for this. And Thunderhead Peaks, because um, the event there, the oil meta, is actually good for gold. Uh, and you also fight about a million monsters, which is very good. I will quickly do a few. I won't do this entire event, I don't think, because I need to go do Trouble Trouble. But I will do a little bit. To demonstrate the Karmic Retribution. Uh, gimme, gimme, gimme. Get that champion. Hand over the champion. Nice. It's done. It is done. Do I have any pets? I don't have any pets now. But you know what I do have? I do get a bunch of volatile magic every kill. You can see here that with that Karmic Retribution, we're also getting a whole bunch of extra volatile magic. And that stuff will really add up. Like, it's not much on its own, obviously, but it means that every single monster that you kill ends up delivering you a good chunk of value. Aha! Wait, could this be? Could it be? Triple Trouble Worm? Wait, is there a squad? Hello, friends! Is there squad? Tag was visible for a microsecond. Interesting. So, I mean, are we actually winning? Is this going to be a winning worm or what? Okay, I'm going to do this worm because I want to... I can go get some of the achievements because we've got... The goal here is to get achievements. It's achievement time, gamers. Triple trouble. So, what have we got to do here? We need to do worm bomb. Great. And Worm Kleptomaniac. So this one here, this one here, and our other goal is going to be the... Um... Wait, do we already do Cobalt? Oh, are you kidding me, dude? I already did Cobalt. Oh, just... God damn it. How? Wait. Oh, I think I, like, leached. I think... I think. Oh, no! It's because I, I did... Ah, I did Amber, but then I came over to help this one, I think. I think that's what happened. Yeah. We can do Worm Kleptomaniac and then go fight one of the other ones, I guess. Because we want to get as many of these uh, these achievements as possible. Worm Egg Scrambler. Got to make that happen too. 7 out of 10 worms. Well, you got to get 30 worms. 30 worms. Uh-oh. That's actually going to take a good chunk of runs. Well, I guess not really. We just need to fight these here like that. There we go. Scramble those eggs. Scramble those eggs. 
Boom. That's worm cut tomato. Very weird achievement. There's like there's like a random bottle of rum and you steal it. <laughs> From the shipwreck pirate. <laughs> That's crazy. We got him. Alright, we can tr maybe try and leech the crimson one as well. I think I missed this achievement, didn't I? Did I? Maybe. Because there's basically a, an achievement in the escort event for every single, every single one. one so I might not have got this one. That's okay, though. Who needs them? I can spring her over, but I can't. Oh, get the husk. Ah, some more eggs to kill, too. Very nice. Why is this music so depressing? It should be full of joy and happiness. We're about to do triple trouble. Come on. You serious? Uh, expose yourself to fire toxins while escorting the Vigil Crusader. Yeah, I think I'm too late for that. So I'll have to do another run after this. This is going to get very confusing. Because I need to place a bomb on Cobalt. And I also need to actually do this. Oh, this, oh, this is lame. God damn it. I have done these achievements in a spectacularly inefficient way. And now I'm being punished for the error of my ways. The good news is that I nearly have 2,500 achievement points, though. Which will give me five gold, five laurels, and a bunch of account bonuses. Hell yeah. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah. We, oh. Get, are people not doing this? Gamers. What's happened? I remember doing this every day, actually. I used to do this in the core game daily. And every single time. Do you know what you do? Before the worm, guys? That's right. You get over here... You kill the champion, and then you get the rich platinum vein. Is this tradition actually dead? I'm so sad if it is. Man, I'm a boomer. Guild Wars 2 boomer. Unbelievable. Break the ooze. The ooze has been broken. Exactly. Mine the platinum vein. <laughs> Let's go. Boom. Get that slime-covered strongbox. Because, you know, I used to do every world boss every day, by the way. Okay. Um, and that was my gameplay. It was really... Oh, my gaming was super unusual, actually. Like, um, my gaming was this. I would have Guild Wars 2 on my second monitor, and I'd have Unity 3D, like a, uh, which is like a, a game engine thing, on my first monitor. And I'd be tinkering, tinkering around with Unity and messing around with code and doing world bosses on my other monitor. I would just do the entire world boss train. It was pretty epic. That was an epic time, my friends, in Guild Wars 2. I was getting so many epic Ectos, it was wild. It was crazy. Yeah. And that was my gaming. That was my gaming experience. Back in the day. How about that? Okay. I think I have to get... Um, I think another achievement I have to do is like have all... I think you have to have all of them at the same time, right? I think so, anyway. Or at least you have to deposit one of them each. Oh, no. Come over here, blue phytotoxin cloud. Yep, there we go. Worm Phytotoxin Collector. Collect each of the three colored Phytotoxins around the Crimson Great Jungle Worm. It's done. Okay, so this should be fine then. All we have to do is actually... Wait, can, can you actually tag multiple worms? Because I just tagged multiple escorts. I don't know if you guys saw that, but I actually got credit for both of the escorts at the same time. Um, I, I got the I got the one for Cobalt and the one for Crimson here as well. So I wonder if I can actually multi-tag these worms. Wait, I mean, what uh, wait, hmm, what part? Ah, the thing is though, don't you have to tag the head event, right? I think tagging this isn't good enough, right? Wait, but wouldn't that wouldn't that give me the decapitate achievement? Kill the amber head. Ah, yeah, yeah, you need to kill the head. That's what you get here, though. That's the problem, isn't it? Whereas the decapitate achievement is just like cut the head off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh, our damage is a bit putrid, isn't it? I wonder if we're going to win. I mean, I'm, I've kind of assumed that we're going to win, but actually, this uh, this boss is no joke. There's no guarantee that we're victorious here. Okay. We are victorious? Are you sure about that, buddy? I'm just going to go for some eggs. Actually, this is a huge waste of time. I can't apply condies to the egg. That's not good. Classic Guild Wars 2, guys. <laughs> 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 Do you 
you remember how you just can't apply condies to some bosses, guys? Some enemies in Guild Wars 2? Yeah. That is, uh, vanilla Guild Wars, guys. <laughs> Let's go. Okay, well, Cobalt has done some DPS. That's good. Amber should be starting relatively soon. Well, we'll have the damage. That's the good news. We will have enough DPS to do this. No question about that. Oh, I got stunned by parasites. Great. I've been infected with parasites, chat. Worms. Hmm. Okay, we're getting a decent burn. A slightly better burn off this time. Can we get to 50%? 50% will be good. I think the colonies will still take away, right? Or at least a little bit. I think it should take some damage. I guess maybe not. Oh, there we go. It did tick. Nice. Alright. Alright, it's doable. It's doable. Got some lava over there. Okay, ooh. Amber's damage is not good. Hmm. That is... That's actually really bad. I might actually go and help Amber. Um, because the problem here is that that damage is so low that they might not even have enough time to actually kill the worm. That's a very serious issue. Because they got, what, 20% there? Maybe like a little bit over 20%? That is going to be very painful. Um, because Amber, of course, is the slowest one. It takes quite a long time to actually repeat the burn phase compared to these two. So this might be a time where we need to actually go ahead and go to the other worm. Because otherwise, I'm just not sure if this is happening. Okay, let's go ahead and go to Amber, because we need to go and add as much damage as possible there. And because there aren't that many people here, adding an extra player is definitely going to be very significant. So I'm going to go ahead and move over. Crimson should do one more burn as well, 100%, and then stop at like 5 to 10%, because our damage is quite low. Oh, wait, Co but look at Cobalt though, actually. Need more at Cobalt? Oh no, we this is really bad. I think we're a bit doomed. I think we're doomed, chat. Mmm, yeah. This is not good. This is not good at all. Hmm. Hmm. Well, I think we have to go to Cobalt, then. The worms are completely farming us, guys. We might be dead to these worms. Right. Okay, let's see what we got. Uh, I think the problem is there's no tag, right? It's only a mentor tag, which is very not good. Because it makes it much harder for people to follow. Okay, what's the plan? Try to get kegs. We, oh, the thing is we ought to go as one. Um, we need a tag here. Hmm. Okay. Oh, the bomb just moved. Great. I'm just going to swim over. Oh, Harbinger's used a lot in PvE. I mean, not really. But, you know, they are actually surprisingly good. So I mean, look, if something is used a lot, that is not actually that important. Whether it's good or not is the important thing. And yeah, Harbinger's is fine. Right. Well, we're a bit fucked here. I'm not going to lie, guys. This is not good. I'm going to put a bomb down. At least I get an achievement. Oh, I have to do it five times. Nice. Well, let's do it five times. Ah, if only we had some portals. Portal will be good here. I mean, I think we're doomed. We're pretty doomed here, guys. I don't see us winning this. We have five minutes. And the worm is on... Uh, the worm is on 75% health. Okay? The worm is going to destroy us. So I think this is turning into a... I'm going to farm worm demolitionist. To be fair, I think I actually was here too late. If you want to get into the good maps that are going to succeed this, you do need to arrive on time. I don't think I arrived on time. That was the main mistake here. No, oh, no! Getting the keg punished me. Why is the keg not here? What is going on? Let me access the keg. This is a bit unfortunate. Well, a lot of people are starting to swarm now. So that is the good news. Keg W. 
Ah! Get ready to attack the worm. Let's go. Hmm. Well, I mean, theoretically, if we burn all the way to, like, 30% now, we, I mean, we have to kill it immediately after that, though. Hmm. Hmm. Well, the damage is a lot higher. We have brought a good chunk of players here. But is it going to be high enough? Because we're really going to have to go crazy to get this done. 50%. Okay. Well, I mean, if we succeed immediately again, we could maybe clutch this. Amber is burning. Ooh, okay. It's getting a little interesting. It's getting a little bit interesting right now. I give us a 10% chance of success. 10% chance. And that's more than zero. It's going to wait here. People always run in and feed. Just don't do that. Okay, okay. We've really got to get these kegs going. Three minutes. And we just kill as soon as the timer goes below one minute anyway, right? Because, of course, you only have one minute after you kill one of the worm heads. So you might as well just go for it at that point. Can we get a keg? And the key thing is here is that you can't fall in the water. If you fall in the water, you drop the keg. So that is the important thing to understand about this uh, little mini game. Boom. There we are. Hmm. I think the problem is that not a lot of players are succeeding this. Okay. You can pick them up. Well, I guess you can also use mounts too. Oh, we have a portal. I don't think it will let you go through the portal, but you can portal back. Hmm. This is just not working, is it? No, it really isn't. I mean, 10? And I have now completed Worm Demolitionist. Good job, me. But unfortunately... Oh, 16 kegs. Hang on. That's pretty good. We have to kill it now, though. That's the problem. Oh, it moved over there. Oh, do we actually get the burn? 19. One more. It has to... Hmm. Uh, hmm. There's no way, right? Because it needs to die. Oh, I don't know about that one, buddy. DPS, exclamation mark. Yes, very good, Balloon NG. Maybe? Is there any version of reality where this works? It's working. Keep it up. Oh, no, we're going to be off by like 10%. No. Oh, come on. We have to kill it. It has to die. Oh, no. We have a minute. <laughs> go, 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 go. All go. No other option. One minute. Are you kidding me? It's so close. Oh, well, this is an easy one, actually. This is a pretty easy one. So maybe we can pull off a bit of a miracle here. Because you just run back and forward. So it's not quite as... There's no, like, water risk. It's not the easiest one. The easiest one is the one over there, of course. It's not impossible. There's, look how many people there are. If the other two worms can go for it, it's doable. Oh. Oh, great. The telegraph did not work there, did it? That's okay, though. Reservoir up. 20 seconds. We have two kegs. How is that even possible? I don't understand. How do we have two? <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. Kill the worm, guys. They need to kill. Why are they killing? We can at least get a few achievements. No. Why didn't the other two kill? <laughs> oh, no. That was awful, yeah. Worms. You know, I could get the silver fed, guys, actually. I have a lot of gold, actually. I'm pretty rich. How much would the silver fed cost? It's 400 gems right now. Ooh, gem prices are hot right now, actually. Ooh, we need to do a sell, don't we? Yeah, we do. Wow, that's a great price. Holy shit. That's um, like 20 gold less than it was, right? It was like 135 gold for 400 uh, just the other week. Uh, right, let's sell some identified gear. 
Boom. Look at that. 33 gold. I think a lot of our stuff is going to be materials. I really ought to sell my memories of Jaw Mag. Uh, the memories of Aureen, because the memories of Aureen are very pricey right now. Because of the new Jaw Mag legendaries. I should probably convert the rest of my uh, Imperial favor, really. I have 4k, and actually I have a lot more than that, because I've got a bunch in the bank as well. Alright, here we go. Another Echovald Wilds Insight has been obtained. Need a few more of those. Gotta grab a few. Gotta get our fishing and skiff pile thing. I think I'm gonna level up the skiff, I think. Although, actually, I don't think I get anything more useful here. Um, yeah, these masteries are not that good to me, because I don't really care about fishing. I'm not gonna be doing any fishing. Um, so neither of these actually do anything, because I already have the speed boost. I guess I get more health on the skiff, so I guess this one's technically better. The first thing is that this marks the return of the account value thing. I'm pretty sure it'll work as well. Well, I mean, I'm not actually that sure. I'm not actually that sure if it's going to work, but I'm going to try. Let's see what we can do. Let's see what we can get down to business. We are going to probably buy some stuff a little bit later on today, I think. Today is time to buy things. What's my Ascended Gear strategy? So my strategy is going to be do a bunch of strike missions to get the shards to buy Ascended. Uh, and then also, uh, you know, get some drops along the way. And then unlock Bitterfrost Frontier and Dragonfall to get the remaining uh, trinkets. So I have two rings, so I need the amulet and uh, trinkets and obviously a back piece. For back piece, I think I'll actually do, what is it called? There's like um, a really easy one you can do. Well, actually I could, hmm, I could get a back piece from Living World, I guess. Um, yeah, back piece from Living World is probably the way to go. Uh, or you can do like the quiver of a thousand arrows, I believe it's called as well, which is another option. Yeah, look at this guys. Um, it's 250 Vicious Claws, Condensed Mist Essence, Philosopher's Stone, Global Ectoplasm. And I believe you can choose basically anything you want on it. Yeah, you can get Celestial, right? So this would actually be a pretty good choice. That's, that's actually very cheap, right? Um, how much is 250 Vicious Claws? That's actually pretty good value. Yeah. So that is 30 gold, and then also 50 Ectos, which isn't that much. It's, it's 30 gold and then Ectoplasm, um, yeah, which is 50 of these. It's seven gold, so it's like 38 gold, 37, 38 gold, that sort of thing, which is actually very, very cheap, right? Enjoy. Enjoy! So, could do that as well. There's a few options. We have a few options here. Yeah, I could get that right now. I could do it right now if I wanted to. But yeah, I'm going to think about it, right? Because I, I don't want to rush. This is a classic mistake that people make. Like, oh, I've got to get it now. I need that item right now. I need it handed over. Uh, whenever you're planning out your account progression, give you a little tip. Think it through and don't rush. I mean, you, you know, rushing can be fun sometimes and like, you know, making something happen and going for it can be a lot of fun, but you may regret it later. So be a little bit careful. Be a little bit careful. Consider your options. And then decide. Oh, look! Guys! Oh, I'm actually so excited. Gamers. Gamers. My account value thing is actually working. Oh, that is so hype. <laughs> oh, I finally, had, I finally had a bit of time just to sit down and debug it a little bit and uh, look through some of the problems with it. There we go. It's actually working. Yeah. And so what it's telling you there, by the way, is uh, how long I've been on the account. Um, although actually, yeah, it's telling you, I don't know, yeah, I've, somehow I've got, I think this is log, I think this is loading screen time, right? On this character, I'm getting loading screen time for some weird reason. Uh, but yeah, actual in-game hours are 133 hours, 38 minutes, and that's the number it's showing there. And then it's showing the account value. So basically the value of all of my items and all of the gem store upgrades as well. And then it will tell you how much gold I've earned in the session. So that's plus 17 for how much my value has gone up within the session. And then it also tells me, uh, tells you the approximate percentage or a percentile of where I am. So top 79% means that I am higher than 21% of players in the game. So there you go, just some fun stats there. 
and it will show a red number if I've lost gold, which actually might happen sometimes. For example, if I'm going to um, sell stuff, I'll actually lose gold. Because think about that. I'm turning... Um, liquid like a liquid gold into wallet gold and you have to pay a tax to do that you lose 15 percent whenever you sell right so when i sell items that number will actually appear to be red my account value will be going down actually i think while we're here i'm gonna get the ice brood saga portal stroll because i wanted to get this for a while actually are you ready are you ready for a quite useful item here we go. It's two gold, but this is actually going to be really nice. I completely forgot. I should have got this ages ago. I completely forgot about this. So the really nice thing about this is that this item gives us a free teleport to Eye of the North. It actually is bundled in. So not only can we port to uh, here, once we unlock... Um, the, we have to play the story to get the portal scroll, so we'll, we'll do that at some point to get here immediately. This is yet another really useful teleport, because of course we want to go to Eye of the North all the time to do strike missions. And I've been paying like 10 silver to port from Arborstone uh, all the way to over here. So actually, um, having this scroll is really nice. Because it, well, if you think about it, right, you can always port around to different locations. You know, I, right now, think of it like... There's this concept in RuneScape as well, I think, right? But you're, we're unlocking teleports to save us money, but also just to, for convenience as well. We can teleport to Divinity's Reach using our Royal Terrace Pass, and that actually lets us port to any city we want, which is kind of nifty. We can port to Arborstone, which is in Cantha. We can port to um, Eye of the North now in, uh, you know, in Ice Brood Saga, and... If we go to Palawan, we could actually get a Season 4 Tome, and then we could teleport to Istan as well. That's also something we should definitely pick up, um, because that means we can basically teleport everywhere we want. Um, the only thing we'd be lacking would be a Heart of Thorns teleport, but that's quite close to Divinity's Reach, so it doesn't really matter that much. And you can do this. You can actually get the World Boss Teleporter, which is actually a slightly under... You know what? Weirdly enough, it's a bit of an underrated item, actually, this thing. Is it available right now? Yeah, this, the Maguma Pact Operation Portal device, it kind of lets you know um, what bosses are active right now, and you can teleport to whichever one is. It's the same thing with the Core World boss thing. It's actually surprisingly useful. Bit of a underrated item right there, you know? Right, so we'll go ahead and grab this, and we'll put the Istan thing in there as well. So, there we go. The Tome hums with magic. And now we can go ahead and port to Istan anytime we want. We'll put all of these there. We're actually a real... We need to get ourselves some shared account slots, don't we? Yeah, we're going to have to. Oh, you know what's really... Oh, you need to buy five in one, don't you? Otherwise, you get... You can get, like, a really good discount, right? Where where are they? Do I have to save up 2k gems for this? It's going to it's gonna hurt me to not buy it on discount. That... Yeah. Ah! Uh, these items are so good, but they're so expensive! Oh! Ah, that is pain. Yeah. Look at this discount, guys. It's 700 for one. And basically you get one for free if you buy five. I'm going to have to actually do five in one go for my five shared inventory slots. We'll get some story first. That's not urgent. That is not urgent. Well, because I want to go to two characters pretty soon, gamers. I'm going to get my second character going fairly shortly. And that's when it becomes really annoying. That is why. But yeah, I'm still playing on this. But it's something that we have to... We've got to get down the line. Oh, that's so much. Oh. <laughs> 848 gold. Oh my god. Well, I mean, to be fair, those are one of the best items in the game. So I'll give them that, all right? I'll give Anet that for free. But it feels so bad. Wait, actually. Wait, what day is it? Oh, it's an entirely new week, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I kind of forgot that the weeklies haven't reset. We should do Harvest Temple Daily today, actually. That's true, because we get our four gold. And that's absolutely right. Um, what, an e what an excellent point. What a great point that was. That's true. I forgot. I forgot the time. Yeah, the best sell time is going to be like Sundays, but yeah. The, the reason why we're not going to sell our antique summoning stones immediately, very, very simple. Uh, because obviously, on Monday, everyone buys them and then sells them. So the price absolutely just, you know, well, it goes down. It doesn't like tank, but it goes down a fair bit. So what we're going to do is we're just going to save these up. And we'll do, from Dragon's End 2, we'll let all this stuff pile up. And we can get like 
I'd like a good 10% more gold. We sell it on Sunday instead. So there you go. Big brain. You know what we're also going to do? We're going to use this Ascended Salvage Shot. We're going to salvage this Infused Ring, okay? I'm going to say everyone's going to be screaming at me. Team, what? You've got to attune it first. Attune the ring. It's better. True. But you know what? I don't care. Boom. Ascended Salvage Kit got it from Fractals. And even better, we now get five stabilizing matrices out. Look at that. Easy gold right there. One and a half gold. Nice. Okay, right. Do you like the new Black Lancer? I haven't even seen it. That's right, guys. Because, look, who do you think I am? Guys. When I was doing my preparation for the Zero to Hero, I spent hours in meditation considering my character considering my role play i don't look at the i don't look at this i don't look at the, the cash on i don't look at the black line chest it disgusts me <laughs> that's my character's role play okay <laughs> i have a huge vendetta against evan nashblade that's my character's rp <laughs> you know i uh my father owned a small business a small trading business and you know what happened evan nashblade muscled us out he bought the business ran it into the ground my father in despair in dismay dr it drove him to an early grave having what we had ripped from under us by the evil tyrant evan nashblade <laughs> I vowed never, never to engage in the, the filthy gems that Evan so enjoys. <laughs> Only the pure gold of Tyria. <laughs> okay, nice. There you go. There's the roleplay. <laughs> that's, that's the lore. <laughs>